Okay, next we're going to have a look at curtain walls. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, curtain walls are important because uh, they behave exactly the same as a wall, except you can use glass panels in them, and you can set up a grid as well for your mullions. So, what I'm actually going to do in this project is make this wall here, this solid brick wall, a curtain wall. Now, you can draw curtain walls either by um, just going home, clicking on wall, and then choosing curtain wall down the bottom here. Or if you've already drawn the wall, we can just change the properties of this wall to a curtain wall here. Now, once I do that, you can see that it has actually changed it to a clear glass pane, one huge glass pane window. Now, obviously no wall is actually going to be like that in real life so we need to go ahead and put in a um, a grid system for the mullions and the panels now to do that we can enter it in the properties of the curtain wall or up here where it says curtain grid so home curtain grid if we go to that, now what you can see is that before I place anything, if I just hover my mouse over the bottom line or the side lines of this wall, you can see it's putting in a preview with a running dimension um, of a curtain grid. So if I go ahead and click that, so I'll just click a few times along the bottom and a couple, a couple of times along the side, you can see that now my wall has been broken up with glass panels. However, there's no mullions in there at the moment. So I'm actually going to switch to an elevation view to go in and have a look at those grids a bit closer. So that's the east elevation. So I'm going to go in and have a look at that. Okay, now HH, I'm just going to hide this wall that's in front of it. Now you can see, and also that piano, HH, and this section line. Okay, so you can see now this is that that wall SD so that was my that was my um, visibility settings I just changed it to shaded with edges with SD so we can see this is the wall that I was actually talking about now my grid system here if I tab through to my grid system we can see that each of them are different dimensions now I want to go and make them even dimensions so DI for the dimension tool and I want to make sure I'm hovering over um, the grid. So tab through until you hit the grid. Grid, grid. Whoops. Just start that again. So grid. Okay. Now to drop the dimension, I can just click in some clear space. And you can see you're sitting above the dimension is that EQ for equal. So if I click that, there we go. Now what that's done is it's made my grids along that axis um, equal, equal um, widths apart from each other. Uh, let me just, I might delete that grid. So I just clicked on that grid and deleted it. And this one, um, we'll set that at about 2400 high. So you can move the grids around by either typing in dimensions or simply clicking on them and dragging them. Okay, so let's go back to our 3D view. Now that I've set up those grids I'm, and I'm happy with them, I want to add a mullion into this curtain wall. Okay, so on the for the mullions, in our home, in our ribbon bar, home, we can see we have our mullion tool. So if we just click on that, then we get a couple of options. We can we can add the mullions to a single grid line or to a single grid segment or to all the grid lines. So usually the easiest way is to just go in and click it and select all your grid lines. And and now you can see what it's done is it's actually added mullions to all, all those grid lines for me that we just went in and set up. So that's starting to look a bit neater. Now I just wanna make sure that I trim these walls together. Oops. So TR trim. 
these two together to neaten up. Okay, lovely. Now what you can see is that I have a nice curtain wall um, sitting on the top floor there. And with the curtain wall you have the ability to change the height, um, you know, change the mullion distance or the actual type of mullions as well. So it's a very important tool, curtain walls there, and I'm sure we'll get into it in a bit more detail in another video.